Brought to you by AwesomeDrinks.com. It's Jen's birthday this month. Use coupon code JENS37 and save 15% on everything you purchase. Put down your three and a half inch floppy of doom. It won't boot anymore anyway. We're going to be making a cocktail. It's called the Little Shepherd. It's like uh, sheep that are small. No, that's the shepherd. This is the small one. And the sheep are big. What is a shepherd? What are you talking the about? The shepherd things. They herd things. The herd. This is the herd. This is the little shepherd. I don't know why it's called little shepherd. Maybe shepherds love peach schnapps and chartreuse. We're going to combine them together into something that's going to be god awful, no doubt, with a little squirt of lime. So is this I have no idea what's going on. Um, this recipe is submitted by Jack. It's got a half ounce of green chartreuse. I don't know what's on that bottle, but that's kind of weird. Half ounce of peach schnapps. So you're taking something sweet, you're taking something that's not sweet at all and herbal, it's not even sour, it's not, it's, it's not good. You just combine these and not good. This, this is strong, this is all over the place in, in your flavor grill, and it's gonna probably have some black licorice like flavors to it or, or different herbal things. What was the herbal, what was the thing that they said that this thing had a lot of, do you remember Jennifer? Come on, what was that? I don't. It was, there's some key ingredients into it that make this what it is, anyway. So what we're gonna do is make that right now. It's gonna happen. I need something to measure with. I'll do a half ounce. Half ounce in each of these, because Jennifer's drinking with me. Are you drinking with me? Yeah, what's this called? Yeah, yeah, what's it called? It's called the Little Shepherd. I thought we were through this. The Little Shepherd, it's like the Little Shepherd I knew that could. something about Shepherd. I forgot the little part. Well, I'm sure in here. Little Shepherd. It's like a Christmas shot, because the Shepherd. Why, does it have merchant sense? No, but what mirror? That was one of the things we tried. Remember? We tried mirror. Yeah. It's frankincense. <laughs> <laughs> not merkincense. <laughs> Merkin <laughs> is not the same thing as what you're, what you're talking about. You're right. I don't know what you're talking Frankincense. Where did I get merkincense? It's a new thing. We're going to call it now. It's a made up word. It's called the merkincense. We're going to. How would one describe the taste of chartreuse? This taste of chartreuse? And by one, I mean you. <laughs> Anise? Let me see. Herbal. Herbal. Oh! Herb in the house! 55% alcohol. That's a lot, right? Just like absinthe. Tastes just like absinthe. Now that's... Black licorice. Black, yeah, maybe. A little bit, but it has like that the star anise flavor. Does it have the tongue burn? Uh huh. Like absinthe? Oh, yeah. It's got all kinds of burn. Wow. Anyway. It's got a nice sweet finish, though. There's definitely some other herbs in there. I just can't. I can't. I can't put my. It's definitely got a little bit more of a bitter bitterness to it. I'm gonna finish. Sweet Sambuca like start. It's a whole lot easier to taste this now that it's kind of dissipating. But let's just put the closest thing would be a green absinthe without the intense burn. Yeah, that obviously hurt me and my inner child is weeping a little bit and I might even have been so drunk that I'm now sober. But it's only 55%. That's 110, where absinthe is like around 130. So. I'll take the larger of the two. Now what we're gonna do, we built the shot, we're gonna squeeze in a quarter ounce of lemon, and then we're gonna shoot it. Nah. Oh, what the, f oh, it's got a seed in it, son of a. Yeah, anyway. shoot it carefully. Shoot. That's weird looking. I'll shoot it carefully. Well, I mean, what's the worst that's gonna happen? I'm gonna lemon tree in my stomach? It's like a pill, swallow it. No, the acid in your stomach will not allow a tree to grow. Where'd it go? In your stomach. You're gonna love this. It'll be like corn. <laughs> I think I just snapped my own neck. You got something all over your shirt. What? Dang it! I'm gonna need a moment. It tastes like poop. My mouth is numb, dry, definitely got peach schnapps. And fire, peach schnapps and fire, herbal, uh, star anise, peach schnapps, on fire, in your mouth, 
with the citrus of of like uh, uh, oh, that s- spray and dust, like pledge. pledge. It's got like that that stuff you spray to clean up dust, like that aroma in my mouth. Now, I would say that's like a chemical lemon, which is not real lemon. It's artificial lemon that's supposed to taste like lemon. This was real lemon. I can prove it right here. However, mm, it didn't really. It doesn't hit the spot. It's um, strikingly potent, oddly dry, chemically lemon, with um, remnants of peaches. The Little Shepherd is not a drink that I would suggest upon most people. Uh, My wife will have one, because that's how we roll here. You have to experience everything once. So you guys have to make this. Think about it. What else are you gonna do with your green chartreuse, right? Classic cocktail, whoa, 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 whatever. And then you can do this. So it gives you something else to use this for when you just need to get a little half ounce out. Yeah, oh, you've you know. used a lot of your green chartreuse. I know, I would be much happier with this. The curd brought me this. He bought it for me, because he's such a friend, and didn't show up tonight. Same kind of flavor, a uh, little bit sweeter, a little bit more toned down. Starriness is a lot less. Um, you could probably replace with this, and this is not near. This is only 40%, so the alcohol isn't really there. I didn't. I didn't feel like I needed to it, my whole body like rupturing. However, I did just take a shot of this, so I'm probably a little bit dulled down on on the flavor of it. But it's definitely more mild. Has a little bit more uh, maybe a citrus or different honey-like flavor to it or something that is just a little bit more sweet. Uh, definitely highly suggest. If you have to pick up one of the two, here's the issue. Green Chartreuse is called for in some classics. I think they're like $60 a bottle, and this is here. So if you're in Australia, you're like basically giving out your firstborn in seven vials of blood. But if you have to pick between the two for your own flavors, I still think the yellow would be better. If you're trying to stay classic to buy the book, get this. But you know what, if it costs a green, use yellow, nobody's gonna kill you. Um, Whatever, that's it. Thank you, Jack, for making my Sunday night shooter that much more enjoyable with the taste of fire and peaches. Question of the day. Question of the day! Have you ever had a shot or drink that made you gag or throw up? Shot or drink that's ever made you gag or throw up? Yes, I have gagged on uh, straight ice 101. And it hurts because I just want to one. I get, this might be true with all alcohol. I've never. I don't usually spit up alcohol through my nose, but with ice, I just have a hard time. It's so. I don't know what it is. Peppermint, spearmint, whatever. Some sort of mint. And when you in it in the hundred proof, when I when I would drink it, it would just like get. It wasn't that I couldn't. It just gets stuck in my throat, and like you just. I wanted to cough and aspirate this stuff out, and it shoots out your nose. Now you get mint. If you just stuck mint and gum up your nose, it's still not a good time. Now you got mint and alcohol up your nose. It's just a bad experience. You feel like you have a sore throat for like two days. I don't see you just doing it. So does that happen to you? Probably with somebody. For Doug, obviously, the tapeworm shooter that came back out of a Boston Shaker. Go watch the tapeworm <laughs> shooter for more on that one. That's on the channel. So you go to everyday dr- youtube.com slash oh, everyday drinkers. Mayonnaise issue. Yeah, he doesn't like mayonnaise in the texture well, of it. Well, he doesn't mind mayonnaise. It's the... No, he doesn't like mayonnaise. No, he, he, he told me coleslaw. that he doesn't mind mayonnaise. It's just like at restaurants, people put way too much mayonnaise. Yeah. But then, yeah, he flipped out over taper, so I don't know. But That's way too much mayonnaise per proportion. It should have none. Alcohol shouldn't typically have mayonnaise, so that's probably an issue. I mean, well, it's not alcohol. You might as well just be doing that. So there you go. If you go, go make yourself. Go watch the tapeworm. Watch Doug. Uh, watch me laugh. You'll know you're on the right episode because we did one with uh, Ian, too, but... Uh, you'll know you're on the right episode if I am dressed up like because <laughs> it's Doug and not Ian, and I believe I'm dressed up like Jean-Luc Picard. So oh, it was Halloween. got that. Yeah, because the, the screenshots I have always have he, he's dressed up like a pirate, thrown up everywhere, and I'm dressed <laughs> up like Jean-Luc Picard. Unlike me now, dressed up like I'm from Louisiana. Like Red Hat. Like Red Hat. Oh, no, for right. Don't make any sense. That's a nerd joke. Yeah. Don't listen to her. This is nerdy. We're done. I think I told you guys, but if I didn't, you go to Everyday Drinkers. I hurt you. EverydayDrinkers.com if you want to see all the videos that we've ever done. Um, you can also check us out on YouTube. You can also check us out on Facebook.com slash Cocktail TV. Our subscribers are like going up, so that's always good. Uh, Patreon.com slash CMC. If you have joined the show, 
as a subscriber and you're not currently paying for us, now you can skip all the ads and not feel that horrendous guilt that just drags your day down. Right? You click skip ad, you're like, I'm watching Derek's show. It's 14 minutes of unadulterated entertainment and I'm not even paying him a dime for it. That's why Patreon exists. And YouTube is going to be tying that right in to into YouTube. So I guess Google's tying it into YouTube. So there'll be a way to donate eventually, soon, I hope, within the YouTube's channel interface. But until then, just go to patreon.com slash And that's that's all I got for you today. Uh, oh yeah, go buy some shot glasses. Awesomedrinks.com. We're teaching you how to drink!